Congratulations, the grind has paid off. You have raised $30 million in Series B funding and now you get to figure out what to do with it. Well, you could invest in a website rebrand and of course you'll need to hire more team members. But have you noticed that relatively few people are even aware that your digital health company exists? The institutions, businesses, or individuals that you hope to impact with your products or services obviously need to know who you are in order to receive that value from you. So how are you going to fix the fact that they don't know who you are? Today, we're going to talk about why content marketing needs needs to be your first marketing priority for your digital health company. I'm Megan Nicole. I'm a public health pharmacist turned copywriter and content strategist, and I help innovative health companies develop and execute culturally relevant content strategies that help them increase their brand loyalty, establish their thought leadership, and increase their bottom lines. If this is something you're interested in, make sure you subscribe to the Health Content Marketing with Megan channel and hit the notification bell so that you know when new tips are available every Thursday. There are three issues you might be facing internally. The first, as I mentioned, is that your prospective customers, buyers, clients don't know who you are. Visibility is extremely important in digital health and that's why digital marketing becomes so important. Digital marketing is one of the most affordable avenues you can use to get your company in front of your ideal clients, but the trick is figuring out which aspect of digital marketing you want to get your feet wet in first. How do you know which digital marketing investment is right for your company? Answer coming soon. The second big issue you might be facing is that your potential clients, customers, or buyers don't understand your solution. They literally don't get the value that it provides. I get it. I work with some digital health clients with amazing technology that even as a public health pharmacist is a little tricky for me to understand. Tech is cool and tech is interesting, but if your prospective clients, customers, or buyers don't understand what the technology does for them, then they're probably not going to buy. Note that distinction, by the way. They don't have to understand the details of what the tech does, but they do need to understand the benefit that the tech affords them. People do not buy what they don't value, and businesses definitely don't buy what they don't value. Finally, another big hurdle you might be facing is that your team is so busy wearing so many hats, working in so many different areas that you haven't had time to really focus on your marketing output. The wonderful thing is now that more money is flowing in through your rounds of funding, you have the financial resources you need to hire marketing help. Rather than trying to do it yourself, it's usually a better idea to outsource those marketing efforts to an expert who is familiar with the digital health landscape and has the digital marketing expertise that you need. So here is where I make the case for content marketing. One, content marketing is one of the best ways to introduce your digital health company to the world, specifically to your target audience, and control the narrative of what they hear about your company and its product or solution. So that takes care of the issue of your ideal clients not knowing who you are. Secondly, content marketing gives you the space you need to accurately convey the value that your product or service provides. So you can do that through long form blog posts, white papers, eBooks, even through videos if you really want to be engaging about what your company offers. Lastly, once you have the funding you need to allow you to outsource some of these marketing efforts, content marketing is a really wonderful initial investment because the product that you get in return, the actual content, can be used in so many ways. It can be used as those blog posts, white papers, eBooks, but it can also be repurposed, deconstructed and repurposed for social content. So content marketing kind of allows you to start at the tree stage and then you can kind of deconstruct that tree for the parts that you need to fuel different areas of your digital marketing campaigns. So if you are in a position where you're ready to invest in content marketing for your digital health company, I would love to talk to you. At Stockrose, we offer a quarterly content subscription that allows you to take a more hands-off approach to digital marketing. And so if you think that that would be something beneficial for your company, I'd be happy to hop on a call with you. You can go to the link in the description box and we can set up a chat to see if we might be a good fit for each other. If I don't hear from you before then, I will see you next Thursday.